Hi everyone and welcome to my channel Lilies and Blush. My name is Suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for today's video which is a bookish box unboxing um, but it's they're darkly um, I don't know how to describe that like or what word to use to call it like they're kind of sub category for their bookish boxes and pre-orders and stuff not not the boxes themselves their subscription boxes are still just adult young adults um but they wanted a way to do um and advertise basically um the definitely adult adult level content um and not have it be on the bookish box page um obviously like adult young adult you would know okay like if you're you know a young adult a teenager or whatever um then or you're like your you know parents or whatever are buying this for you and you're a teenager then they would know oh the young adult one is the one for you that would fall in the category for you know a kid um for a young adult right and then but like the adult box would obviously be for grown adults but while advertising like their pre-orders and stuff of course they were using that on their main bookish box instagram and things like that and social media in general and in order to not advertise that content to young adults um and have it be something like they're excluded from they treated darkly um and plus it gives them opportunity to do fun stuff like this uh, but that was like their whole explanation when they started Darkly. I think it might be on the bookish box page what Darkly is and kind of that same, you know, description um, or around kind of that same description for it. But, um, but yeah, but this is the first like box from Darkly. Uh, previously, it has just so or so far, it has just mostly been pre-order based. So, um, you know, a book collection of some kind that definitely falls more in line with the Darkly theme than the typical, you know, young adults or bookish box theme. So, um, yeah, but I love this. This came out, I believe, like around February and it's March... 26th i got this a couple of days ago though so um so yeah it came pretty quickly for you know just showing kind of more so once the shipping oh my gosh i heard the name of that the other day too the just like yeah anyways all the the issues that we've been having with getting merchandising and things like that in um obviously like as that's catching up and getting better and hopefully improving um things are moving faster for bookish box too i know that's been a complaint a lot of people have had like bookish box takes too long like you order a box in february and don't get it till like june or something but that was all to do with that same like shipping issues all that stuff that term that I can never remember and then I hear it and I'm like oh my god that's it I'm gonna use it next time and then I forget it again so I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about though but anyways so all the packaging and designs for this box came from the bookish shop uh and then we have a breakdown of everything that we've got so I will start going through that let's do like I do for our regular boxes and we'll do the book last um, and then we'll do the big item first. So this is, I was so excited, um, cause I think they kind of revealed this prior to the box coming out that there was going to be a sweatshirt and I'm, I love it. I love that it's just black and white and it just says book lover on it and it's so soft. Okay. But I'll tell you about it. So the book lover hooded sweatshirt printed on an ultra comfy black colored hoodie sweatshirt with nude ink. Retail value is $45 to $49, of course, depending on your size. I believe I got a medium. No, I got a large. I usually do in sweatshirts. I like them a little oversized on me, especially because I do have a large chest. Um, but wow, maybe a medium actually would have been fine because I think they probably weren't female sizes. They were probably male sizes or like unisex sizes. So this is pretty big, but honestly though, I love it still because I love a good cozy, like even if it's just run around the house type of sweatshirt. So 
Oh yeah, it's that like super soft fleece on the inside too. Um, and then like, like I said, the outside is super soft as well. Like very, very comfy. Uh, the print feels really good and solid on here. And then there is like, you know, the kangaroo pouch pockets. Um, and of course hood. Yeah, I like it a lot. So soft, like that soft t-shirt material kind of soft. I really, really like it. Okay, love putting that on right after this video. <laughs> I've been like waiting to wear it till I had a chance to film and I kept seeing it next to my desk and I'm just like, oh, I wanna wear it. Oh, not doing the book yet, not doing the book yet. Okay, next, um, let's see, what's, just ne what's next on the list? Okay, I haven't fully opened this. I unpackaged it, it was like very well packaged, um, but this was the final packaging and I wanted to leave it because I thought it was so cool. Okay, so this is the Rom-Com Book Club 6-ounce candle. And then we've got the notes. So the top notes are lemon peel, orange peel, fennel, cardamom, and ginger. The middle notes are grapefruit, mandarin, orange, tangerine, agave, and citrus. Amber, cedar, clover, lavender. And then the base notes are lime, sugar, peach, sandalwood, and musk. That sounds amazingly like fruity and musky like the perfect summery candle I very much so love that like sound of it anyways but I'm like I don't want to oh like okay and then it's d for darkly I love that so much that's so cute okay I'm gonna open it from the bottom because there's just tape down here I don't want to mess up the wax seal i think i kept another wax seal that i got from bookish box before that was like rose gold it was so pretty so i'm gonna try to do the same thing with this darkly one. Oh, i stole the lid i was like why is there still a hard piece in here come on out lid ah there we go okay oh and it's a wood wick candle i don't think it said that on there oh it won't sit <laughs> Okay, so only downside is that it won't sit all the way down because the wood wick candle. Um, but once you burn it down, obviously, then it will set. But I love this that it looks like a little potion thing. And honestly, like I mean, it's a candle. You're kind of just protecting it from getting dusty and dirty by keeping the lid on it. So, um, but oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Hand poured by Darkly by the Bookish Box. After Dark Collection. I love this and I'm already getting the scent you haven't even actually stuck it to my nose but I just love that that looks like a potion or something oh yeah that's definitely giving me maybe not, not like cabin by the ocean kind of like cabin in the woods near an ocean kind of vibes because like you're getting the like peachy limey lemony smells but that sandalwood and cedar and amber you're getting all the citrusy yeah it definitely is giving you that vibe so like just cabin in the woods and the beach is down the way like so you kind of getting that oceany like like beachy smell beachy vibe from it but then at the same time you're getting that woodsy vibe mm, i love it definitely a perfect spring or summer scent honestly oh, just i can't even i yes okay and then i'm going to totally try to save that wax uh stamp okay then we have the two Chow, 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 chow. Where are these from? Because I feel like if I know, oh, Carlsbad, California. <laughs> that does not help me other than make me think maybe Spanish. Chow, chow, cho, chuo, chuo. I don't know. I don't know how to say this, but it's too many chocolate bars. One is the salted chocolate crunch that looks freaking amazing because that looks like those 
uh oh sea salt yes okay so this looks like the oh my god what are they called um pano chocolate that's what that looks like and i love pano chocolate and then we have pretzel toffee twirl crunchy crunchy petrol piece blah, i cannot speak crunchy pretzel pieces and buttery toffee dance in dark chocolate oh that just sounds that both sounds amazing um and oh the retail value for the candle was 22 dollars. the retail value for the two chocolate bars are three dollars and 18 cents okay and then the next item is the lapco lap coast red wine elasticity face mask that's awesome a tightening pulp cellulose sheet mask powered by wine extract blueberry and allen twine allen twine twine retail is four dollars that's awesome i love a good face mask i have like face mask i have a massive collection i just like collect them and use them whenever my face is feeling dry usually so love that for elasticity though and that it's wine like that's amazing okay and now oh i think i said that was four dollars okay and then villa bane shower cube three ounce of stress relief aromatherapy with notes of red currant lemon rosemary grapefruit eucalyptus tomato leaf and lavender plus orange basil and fur needle essential oils retail is four dollars so this is a stress relief one Mm, I like this smell, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I'm wondering if it's because of like the, maybe the basil and rosemary kind of smell. I'm not really sure. It is interesting to me that there's tomato leaf in there. It's making me think it's a food. Um, But I could see this being really good in a hot shower. So you place on the floor of a steamy shower in the path of water, let the water dissolve and enjoy the effervescent uh, effects to prolong move to and from the running water. Best results with hot water in enclosed area. And then cool external use only may cause slippery surface. I just want to open this up and see exactly what it looks like. I can get it open. Eh, I'm ripping the box. I got my nails done today and I got them a little shorter than I usually like to have my nails. And so it's like changed how I open things and I'm like, ugh. I can't get stuff open anymore. Can't just like slip a nail under and pop things out open, you know? I feel like I'm probably just destroying the box even more doing it this way. But I really wanna see what it looks like. Holy crap. Okay, we're just gonna kinda destroy the box a little bit. Ah! That's a good way to break a nail. Oh, wow, it's just like out the whole wow that is huge that is a massive bar so I feel like yeah you could definitely use that for multiple showers like or if you're just gonna take a really really long shower but definitely could use that for multiple showers just like leave it in the tub maybe I don't know I've never used anything like this before but I'm excited about it I really, really like that. Okay. And that is stress relief. Okay. And then last, but definitely not least, the most important item is the book. Uh, so this is an adult romance paperback. And I've never gotten a paperback book from Bookish Box before. And Darkly is always doing like the special editions, just like, um, sorry, there was lots of that shower cube every, everywhere. Um, yeah, so I've never seen a paperback before and I kind of love it because it definitely cuts down on the cost of the box so you can get the items and everything else and and not pay too much. So this was $16.99 retail and it's the second year single by Kara Tanamachi 
and basically it says the second yeah the second year single she swore off dating and then she met him and riotous whip smart and original read this happy making book if you love yourself so i'm wondering if it's like a little rom-com to go with our rom-com candle um harder to put down than a box of gourmet valentine's day chocolates it is everything i adore in a book heart humor and a sizzling love story carrie ray author of the wedding ringer okay so here is the back of the book freelance writer sora reed believes in inertia she's the odd one out in a family of go-getters including her japanese american mom who hints about losing weight and her almost married sister who needs sora to get a date for the wedding otherwise she'll be dancing with her scottish great uncle bob for Sora, the phrase minimal input, minimal expectations is a way of life. The only one thing that disrupts her inertia and intense dislike for Valentine's Day. What is it with the commercial love machine? Why do we get our hopes up when staying home with a package of bacon and a bottle of tequila is better? Oh, I'm with that. Sora's been betrayed before. And her heart feels like Grandma Mitsui's antique Japanese ceramic bowl with its gold-filled cracks. When her pledge to stay single inspires readers to hashtag go solo, Sora wants to empower her followers. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Enter Jack Mann, a muscle-bound baker Sora hasn't thought of since elementary school. When a run-in at the grocery store leads to instant attraction, Sora knows she has to shut it down. She can't hashtag go solo and get the guy. She can't let down her readers and her the relationships always end. So why should Jack be different? even though he's confounding her expectations of love. Cheerfully irreverent, bitingly funny, and filled with romantic charm, the second year single is about navigating the most romantic month of the year and how love always comes when you least expect it. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> and there's a dog involved. Who wouldn't love this? Okay, I'm excited about that book. Definitely adding to my TBR for this year. But yeah, so this is it. This is everything that we got in the book in the box. And I love it. I definitely think this was really fun. It feels adult, you know, like it feels like for grown-ups, you know. I love it. So thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.